Hello everyone, welcome back to another Ridgeside episode. So today we are starting on the island yet again. We've been on the island a lot in these past few episodes and that is because we are searching the volcanoes at the moment for this Stinking soul sapper ring. We managed to get a protection ring, but we already had one, so we don't need that. So we are on the lookout for the soul sapper ring now. So we're just going to head off to the volcano as soon as possible today. We do also have the mummified bat that we got from the volcano, so I can go and donate that as well. My biggest worry at the moment is that we really don't have much food. I might be eating taro roots. We also managed to get some more pineapple seeds, which I will plant on our little pineapple patch down here. We're trying to grow this out in case we ever get Caroline's quest, which will unlock us a solar panel, because obviously we need to do that to get all the recipes eventually. Okay, we're looking ready, so I'm going to head straight off to the mines, get an early start in. I'll go via the tent as well to see if we can drop off the mummified bat. I'm pretty sure we haven't donated that yet. The music is so good on the island, I love it proper chirpy okay yeah we've only had the mummified frog this is great okay the bat is now done we are looking for three more items that's it that's wild we've done this really quickly i feel okay we've completed another something so we get more walnuts i think let's see yeah we get a walnut let's go so we now have 10 walnuts can we afford the parrot express now i should really try because the parrot express will help us out so much especially coming home late from the volcanoes speaking of which we are now here we've got to try and find these chests and get this soul sapper ring please will we have luck today that is the big question oh i just realized it's blair's birthday oh no are we gonna have to go and see her no phew we actually have full hearts with blair already so we can ignore her for her birthday the most wonderful gift to give a person the cold shoulder i'm so sorry if you can hear my cat in the background he is being absolutely mental today i don't know what's gone into him oh my god there's so many on me at once it's okay we can take them i believe in us we did it we absolutely smashed it. <laughs> oh, and here's our first chest opportunity. Okay, please have the soul sapper ring. Imagine if it did, that would be so good. Let's see what it's going to have. <gasps> no! Are you joking? The protection ring again? I, I want to quit. I want to quit. That's so evil. We've had this like three times or something. Okay, well, that was sad. I guess we'll keep looking, but I... Oh no, is this an infested floor? please why this is supposed to be a good luck day oh my gosh there's so many on me this level is absolutely terrifying because it looks fine from this side right but then look at this side there's so much okay can we get out let me out let me out let me out let me out okay we did it we survived that was stressful oh another walnut though let's go and a mushroom, we definitely be needing that. Oh, and now the flamies have gotten harder up here. Oh, this is terrible. I hate these ones. They like do the stop and jump as well, which I absolutely hate. Calcifer, please. I thought Calcifer was friend. I just really wish we had some more chests because we are in desperate need of this ring. It's a good day for mushrooms though. We've collected loads. Okay, we're on level nine now. Oops, <laughs> perfect spot to do fishing, I guess. I don't think we're getting the soul sapper ring today. This is so unfortunate because I don't know how many days we really have left to try and do this because I don't want to spend like a whole season in the volcano mines, you know. Let's just hope the ring is on this floor, eh? Okay, we have the chest. Let's see. I think this is our final chance to get a chest today. <gasps> no, a hot java ring. Oh, please. Are we going to get every other ring except the one we need? I feel like we are. I can't believe it. At least we're killing enemies, right? This is a really good use of our time. I'm sure. Okay, well, that was fun. Totally not a waste of a day or anything. <sighs> I guess we'll head home. We have time to run home at least. I might also go and unlock the Parrot Express if we have enough walnuts. Okay, let's see. Do we have enough? We do. It only needs 10. We finally have the Parrot Express up and working now. That's actually a huge advancement. I'm going to run to the dig site quickly too, since we probably have time. I may as well do a little bit of digging, because we are still looking for a couple of the things needed for Professor Snail, of course. I don't actually really know what we're looking for. <laughs> Some of the mammal stuff, I think. We didn't get anything we needed. At least we've cleared it for more to spawn, though. We literally have three protection rings. 
This is wild. I can't believe our luck. Let's sleep for now though, forget about the bad day. And obviously because we didn't get it, we have to go back again today. This is terrible, we're gonna spend the whole of winter. I actually wanna check how many days we have left. Nine days, okay. So we have the Iridium Band, we have the Protection Ring, just the Soul Sapper Ring left. Oh, we also have the Fragments of the Past quest too. Ooh, we haven't gathered enough pieces yet. I don't know if we're gonna succeed this to be honest. We'll see. I would quite like to run to Leo this morning and gift him a little duck feather. Since we've been on the island a lot, I do want to just go and take him one. And I can also check if the parrot has any words of wisdom for us too. Is Leo here today? There he is. Hi, Leo. Yeah, because we have like no friendship with him. We really need to work on our friendship. He's sad today. I'm going to cry. You go on. Have fun. Let me be sad. Oh, Leo. Yeah, we have like no friendship. It's terrible. We need to work on his friendship more. Do you have any words of wisdom for us? Five stuck in Shelly Stones by Shaw. Five? Still? Oh my god. Oh, I definitely could have used Parrot Express to get here as well. Well, I guess I will head to the volcano. I'm going to forget I have this now because it's taken me so long to get it. <laughs> right, can we get the stinking ring today, please? It is another good luck day, so honestly, luck might be in our favor, perhaps. Oh, there is three dragon's teeth there. Two of them as well. Oh my god. Two freebie dragon's teeth? That's lucky. <gasps> and two diamonds. Oh my goodness. Very lucky. Oh my god, another one? We literally might have enough dragon's teeth for the obelisk now. Now we just need the money. Okay, we're halfway there, and I'm truly living on a prayer that we get this damn ring. We must be close to the monster slayer goal for the flamies. Surely. We have killed so many of them now. Okay, we're on level 9 now. Hopefully we have a chest. Oh my god, there's so many buttons on this level. What? I don't know if I've ever had this floor layout before. Do you have to like guess the real buttons or something? Okay, we've opened the first round. This one's sneaky. Dang. Oh, and there's a frog. Are you joking? I got him. Oh, but here's the chest though. How do I get in? I have to find the pressure plate for the chest. Oh my god. This is evil. Concerned Ape, you are evil for creating this level. And I didn't even get any dragon's teeth here either. So that's rude. Okay, well that pressure plate opened this one, but I can't open the chest room, huh? I've pressed every single pressure plate except this one. Oh my god, will the flamies stop? Please. I guess the answer is no. They really don't want me to push this pressure plate, do they? Okay, that opens the chest. Oh, that's so evil. Why would they put it right in the corner like that? They knew what they were doing. Ruining my day. Okay, if this has the ring, all will be forgiven. <gasps> Stop it. Another protection ring? No, this is actually unfair. I actually feel like I'm being bullied. I feel like I'm being bullied by the game. It's laughing at me. It's mocking me. And then that beautiful music comes on when I get to the top. Don't even. Don't even play your beautiful tunes. You know what you're doing. I can't believe we've had four protection rings. <laughs> I just want to cry at this point. Let's head home. We're going to have to spend another day in the volcano. Please no. Let's head to bed. I'm too sad to sell anything. Oh, the cheerful music. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, there's also a recipe I need to go home and get. Uh-oh. And it's Caroline's birthday and I have to gift her. Because we are working on vanilla friendships, of course, now. I'm also going to quickly break these stones on the beach. Because apparently we're missing five walnuts from this area. Which I think is a lot. We must not have had any walnuts from here yet then. I feel like we've broken these quite a few times though. Like, where are the walnuts at? There's one! Okay, I don't think we're going to have any of Caroline's loved gifts. So... We're either going to have to give her a liked or we'll have to give her a universally loved gift. I don't think we have any universal loves here, but we might be able to find one back at the farm. I think I'm going to head back to the farm for a little bit and just do a few things around normal Pelican Town. I think we need to do a couple things back home and take a couple things back home as well. But then we'll probably come back here to try again at the volcanoes. Okay, we're heading home quickly. Take us home, Willy. We got a little pirate hat on. We look so good sailing the seas like that. Okay, I need to find a suitable gift for Caroline. What are the universal loves? I can't even think. I think a rabbit's foot is one. I don't know if we'll have any rabbit's feet though. My god, I'm so not used to the snow. 
Oh, it's so weird. It's kind of cozy though. But after being on the island for so long, it feels odd. <laughs> Plasmodius wants an Iridium bar. Festival of Ice. Did we miss that? Or is that tomorrow? Oh, and we have our little horsey here too. Forgot about them. Let's see if we have any rabbit's feet. It'd be really golden if we did. And we don't because none of our animals have been fed in days. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'm at least going to go and check for the recipe because we need to do that. Poppy seed muffin. Woo! And let's talk to Floor whilst we're here too. You don't think I have too many books, do you? No. Do you think I have too many kegs? I probably do slightly. <laughs> Speaking of kegs, I could finally finish my like keg shed with the jars as well. Because I think I have enough coal now to make a couple more. Did we need nine? I think we needed nine. Well, we can make seven. So that's a good start. Ooh, look, we can fill some of this empty space with our new jars. Heck yeah. So we only need two more now. And then the shed will be complete. And I can put on some more pickled pumpkin as well. Okay, let's go and gift Caroline now. And then we'll head over to Clint's and open up some of these geodes. And we'll donate some stuff too. Since we have a couple things to donate. We do still need to complete the museum, of course. Wait, I didn't even get anything for Caroline. Hang on. <laughs> I'm like, let's go and see Caroline. I didn't bring anything with me. A prismatic shard is a universal love. So is a pearl, the golden pumpkin, and a magic rock candy. I think we have some of those. I mean, we have a prismatic shard on us. It is an expensive gift, but... Ah, oh well, Caroline deserves the best, right? She's married to Pierre. We gotta make up for that. <laughs> let's just gift her this. It's the easiest thing. Is she here? Hang on. Probably not spending her birthday with her husband, is she? I get it. I get it. He kind of sucks. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, she's in her room. Oh, and I can enter. Let's go. Okay, gift for you. Six hearts now. Let's go. Six hearts is pretty good. Not everyone would get a prismatic shard for their birthday, so she's pretty special. You know, I'd also quite like to buy some more coffee because we are literally moving so slow and it's painful. So I am going to quickly stop off and buy some coffee. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. We're too slow. I'm just going to get like 50 coffee or something. <laughs> okay, off to Clint's now. Hello, sir. Please process my geodes. Hopefully we get some new stuff that we need. I actually have no idea what we need, to be honest. This looks like cool stuff, though. It looks like we got, like, one new thing. So I'll take that to Gunther quickly. And we actually had a couple things already, so I can give those too. So we've got the strange doll. I don't know where to put him. We've, like, color coordinated. And he doesn't really fit anywhere. I guess I'll put him here. Got this thing. And then a prismatic shard I'm going to stick over here because it's kind of a special item, you know? Also, I might just take this bone fragment back because I don't think we're going to finish it in time. So I'll take that back. Thank you, Gunther. So we gifted Caroline, we went to Clint's. I think we're going to go back to the island now because I do want to go mining again. I don't even know if we'd make it to the top of the volcano now because we're so late in the day. But we're going to try, so let's go, I guess. We don't have much food, but I think I'm just going to run straight there because I don't want to waste too much time. I would ideally like to get to level 9 because that's where the chests are, I think. I think there's always a guaranteed chest on level 9, right? I think there is at least. Let's see how this goes. It is another good luck day. So we might stand a chance potentially. <laughs> Maybe I will run straight past these today. We want to be fast. We want to get to level nine. We don't need to like stop and loot maybe. I say that as I stop and loot. <laughs> is there a chest in here? No. Oh, we did get a walnut though. Let's go. How are we still getting walnuts from the mines? I don't understand. Like that doesn't feel right. I thought you get five walnuts from here. I'm sure we've had more than five. Oh, we have a mushroom floor. Let's go. Like it knew I didn't have much food. Oh, this is creepy though. The little mushroom fellas are so cool. I literally adore them. They're so cute. Oh my God, there's so many of them. I'm going to eat one of them right in front of them. They're not going to like that. That is going to anger them more. I'm eating their family and friends. <laughs> it's kind of terrible, actually. I feel really bad now. Ooh, a dragon's tooth. I'm going to take it. Oh, I won't stop and loot. <laughs> I lied. I will absolutely loot. I am nothing if not a little scavenger. My husband likes to call me a crow because whenever there's something shiny, I gravitate towards it. And apparently I do that in Stardew too. So at least I'm consistent. 
Oh, is there a chest here though? <gasps> yes, there is. Okay, could it have the ring in it? Oh my god, please have the ring in it. That would be delightful. The correct ring. I need to start specifying. We need the soul sapper ring, not a protection ring. Okay, please, please, please. Well, I guess they're useful. I cry. We do be needing pineapple seeds after all. Okay, we have another opportunity to get a chest here. Could it be this one? Please. I beg of you, Stardew. No, it was a golden coconut. I mean, still useful, but like definitely not what we wanted. Are we going to make it to level nine? I severely hope so. There's another chest room. What are the odds? What are the odds? There's been three chest rooms and we're not even on level nine yet. Okay, come on. Because it heard me say I'm not going to loot. So now it's like, oh, well, we're going to try and really tempt you, Lil. Please, please, please. <laughs> Tarot tubers. I feel like it's getting worse and worse. That's so sad. Oh, got it. Okay, we're on to level nine at least. So we have a guaranteed chest, I believe, on this floor. I'm getting to experience all the different layouts, which is cool. Oh, it's getting late. Oh, quick. No, don't die. Make it to the chest, Lil. Make it to the chest. <laughs> it was a golden coconut. Oh, I'm gutted. Actually gutted. We had like five chests today and none of them have been the soul sapper ring is it like really rare like what is going on oh we got a secret note that's kind of cool i don't think i'm gonna make it home <laughs> let me out let me out let me out let me out i'm out will i make it home in time i have less than an hour i don't think i will what a sorry end to the episode honestly we tried so hard i really did with every ounce of my being i tried to get that ring we had so many chances so many chests but it just wasn't meant to be i guess will we ever find this ring i guess only time will tell there's no way i can make it home can i <gasps> Oh my god, no! Oh, well, if that doesn't illustrate perfectly how this episode went, I don't know what will. That was so sad. Passing out on the edge of my bed. We love to see it. We love to see it. And some pathetic fallacy for you all. It's raining on the island. But with that, this is the end of the episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Of course, if you have any tips for getting the Soul Sapper ring, please let me know. I know we didn't do much rich side stuff in this episode, but I hope it was enjoyable nonetheless. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.